How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Port Vale Youth Academy Legends career mode here on FIFA 19. It is, it is, it is hammer time. It is time. We, this is the final episode of the season. The final time we will play in the Premier League in this series and we have a massive, massive chance of winning it this time. We have six games in this episode to try and well win the Premier League basically the first of which being up against Newcastle as you can see by the table there we currently lead Manchester City by one point uh, we play Newcastle we play Southampton we play Crystal Palace we play uh, Chelsea and we play uh, Bournemouth and West Brom as well I forgot about West Brom but they are the teams that we play so we're just gonna get straight on with it then into the game against Newcastle here at the beautiful St James's Park lovely grounds you know it, those annoying those shadows are more than annoying but otherwise it's a great ground um, but as you can see we're in the third minute here and uh, Fernandez uh, scores fourth minute fourth minute four minutes in and we're one nil up already at Newcastle that's a pretty decent start isn't it if I do say so myself uh, Diogo Fernandez giving us the lead and uh, yeah this game was pretty mad, I'll say that much, because uh, this is straight from Newcastle's kickoff after their goal, after our goal. The ball's given away to Dylan Dylan, and uh, Dylan Dylan runs through, and Dylan Dylan scores. <laughs> so six minutes in, and we're two 0 up. Like, what the hell? Like, did, I can't believe that actually happened. They they gave it away. I mean, they're not that bad of a team either, Newcastle. Uh, we go into the eighth minute now, ninth minute, so just three minutes later, and Kovnaki. Kovnaski, I don't know how you say his name, uh, gives Newcastle a goal back already. So, I mean, it's a, it's a manic start to the game. We're not even 10 minutes into the game, and it's already 2-1. We've already had three goals in the first 10 minutes of the game. And uh, this one from Newcastle, definitely fully against the runner play. Well, I mean, the only runner play there's been is us scoring two goals, so, I mean, it's pretty obvious it's against the runner play. This is just two minutes after they scored, though. Dylan Dylan putting the ball through to Fernandez. And he hits the post, so we nearly scored again. But uh, this is not long after that. Inacio giving the ball to Ratchic. He gets it out to Ujevic. Ujevic crosses it in, and Hugh Harris gives us another goal. 14th minute, 3-1 up, as Hugh Harris does some mad flip celebration and stuff like that. I mean, please don't injure yourself, mate. Um, and um, we go straight from their kickoff again, straight after our goal. And they do literally the exact same thing, although this time it doesn't end up in a goal because Dylan Dylan couldn't get his shot away. 34th minute, so a bit further on now. It's 4 1. Dylan Dylan scores again, and it's 4 1 to us. Now, at this point, however, the game crashed. The game crashed. So I had to play the game again. However, I kept the same result, and this is the goal I scored for Newcastle. <laughs> just just thought I'd show that, Emil Hatunen scoring that flick, but basically what I did was I started the game all over again, um, played that game on beginner, kept the score at 4-1 with the same scorers and everything, and there you go, that's exactly what how I did it. So the game did finish 4-1 in the end, I just had to replay it. Uh, a save out of there from Hatunen, we're at home to Southampton now, um, I just had to clear that up about the Newcastle game, but yeah. Uh, uh, Blondo with an opportunity here as he goes for the spectacular a bicycle kick up from the edge of the box easily saved as Soler puts the corner in for Southampton he comes out there to god that name's long <laughs> that save though from her tune and keeps us at nil nil this was a really tough game actually um, considering Southampton aren't the best of sides as Soler has another shot and it's saved by her tune and we finally go down their end though and have a chance ourselves Ivic puts the ball in and Asia picks it up from behind, Harris flicks it up, has a go, and it just goes over the bar, so, so unlucky for Hugh Harris, but um, here we go, 76th minute, this is Donis putting the ball in, and what a save that was from Atunan, oh my god, like, if it wasn't for him, we'd be 2-3-0 down maybe, I don't know, but he made himself big, and it just hits him on the arm, and goes away, but we're in the 80th minute now, what a touch that was from Obafemi, and uh, yeah, the shot deflects in off Hugh Harris, and it's 1-0 to Southampton. I mean, we, we can't afford to lose any games at all. We can't afford to drop any points, as a matter of fact, and we're doing it against one of the bottom half sides. As Ujevic runs through, this will be the final chance of the game. Ujevic running inside, he's got a decent opportunity here, and he does that. 
I was trying to pass it to Dylan Dylan, who was like further back. And yeah, that's going to end the game. We're going to lose to Southampton. Like, of all the times to lose a game, now is not the time at all. Like, I've lost to a team managed by Mark Hughes, for God's sake. <laughs> But yeah, that was a really frustrating loss. It was really frustrating because we just let Southampton run us, run us over, basically. Uh, but uh, moving on, moving swiftly on, we are off to Selhurst Park to play against Crystal Palace. Another tough game. None of these games are easy. I mean, these teams are like bottom half of the league or whatever, and they're just trying to stay up, aren't they? As a free kick from Joel Osorio is tipped over there by Emil Hatunen. Uh, Joel Osorio has been causing us problems ever since we played against him in the championship for Watford as Golubev gets a cross in there and Hugh Harris heads it wide. Oh my god, it was what, when that happened I just thought, oh this ain't going to be my day is it? And when this happened as well, as Osorio goes through, crosses it in and it's headed in by Terrier and it's 1-0 to Crystal Palace and at this point I was just thinking, oh we're going to bottle it, we're going to bottle it, we're already bottling it. Ugh. It was just one of those. Uh, Blondo going on a bit of a run here, playing the ball through to Golubev. It was a good pass from Blondo. Golubev puts the ball in, and there's no missing from Dylan Dylan from there. Head it perfectly on his head. Um, keeper couldn't save it, and we get an equaliser, which is really, really valuable. Because, you know, we lose this game, we're probably losing the title. I mean, it feel like we're losing the title anyway, because we lost one game. Because Manchester City just don't feel like it just doesn't feel like they're going to slip up at all. Uh, we move on to the 43rd minute now. Golubev heads back to Fernandez. Dylan Dylan stings the palms of the goalkeeper, but that's not enough. We needed to go past the goalkeeper as uh, Hatunen passes it straight out to Asoro, which is never good news, is it? Asoro gets across in there. I'm not sure if he saved that. I'm still not sure to this day. But if he did, that is an absolutely awesome save as Terrier just runs through. And just about hits it wide. But we have a saviour. We have a saviour. His name is Archie Bingham. As Golovev puts the ball in there. And there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Archie Bingham saves us from disappointment. 80th minute. 2-1 to us. If we had not have scored that goal, I reckon we would have lost the league. We would have lost the title to Manchester City there and then. But Archie Bingham was there to do to do us justice. We deserve to win this game. And we are going to win this game 2-1. Good flipping job we won this game. Because at that point I probably would have just turned off my console and thrown it out the window. <laughs> no, I would have probably just turned it off and gone to bed. Because, I mean, it was fairly late. I needed to go to work. Unfortunately, however, we pick up a pretty bad injury to Craig Byrne who is obviously, of course, one of our starting centre-backs. Uh, him and Guillaume have formed a formidable partnership in that back line, and we're now missing one of them for the rest of the season. Which is always good news, isn't it, when you lose one of your starting players, so it means that um, the likes of Isaac White and Ewan Alexander will have to cover in his place. Uh, next game, though, we go, to we go, to we go to back to Vale Park to play against West Brom. Who, of course, do not have overpowered Callum Shea in goal because we stole him off them. <laughs> As Inacio goes for a shot there. But to be fair, their substitute keeper, whose name I can't really see from where I'm sitting right now, was doing pretty well for himself. He was doing quite well. Um, Na Nasimenko, I think his name was, or something like that. Uh, Dylan Dylan plays the ball out to Ujevic. Ujevic gets the cross in, and Golubev, he taps it straight at the goalkeeper. He cannons back off the post. Hits a defender and goes in off the goalkeeper. I mean, you can't really get more lucky than that, can you? But Golubev celebrates it as if it's his goal, but it's not his goal. It's most certainly not his goal, looking at that replay. As Dylan Dylan steals it off of the defence, he goes through here, he's on his right foot, he gets it onto his left and just hits it wide. Why are you hitting it wide from there? Uh, but anyway, that's how the game ends. It wasn't the best of games in the end, but... Um, that is how it ended. A 1-0 win for us, so we are back on track again. Two wins on the bounce. It's massive. It's massive. You know, if Manchester City... We need Manchester City to slip up still, though, because after that draw, after that loss against Southampton, it was pretty It was pretty annoying to think that, you know, that loss could have lost us a title. 
But this isn't an easy game, is it? Chelsea away as our last away game of the season. Second to last game of the season. And uh, yeah, Hatunen keeping it at 0-0 in the ninth minute. What a save once again from the Finn. Jeez, man, it's just like, look at that. I mean, he just got, he just, he just puts his body in the way of it, doesn't he? Fernandez though plays a ball through to Dylan Dylan. That's a great ball over the top to Ujevic. Ujevic brings it down well. Um, he cuts inside there. He gets a cross in. That's a brilliant, brilliant cross from Ujevic. And Dylan Dylan puts us one nil ahead. Good, very good start. 18th minute, and we have the advantage. As it, what a cross that was from Ujevic, and what a header from Dylan Dylan. He's Kepa is not saving that. He's not saving that at all. Uh, Hudson Odoi puts a ball through there to I think it was uh, Fernandez. Um, yeah, he was uh, he had a shot and it was saved by a tuna. Sorry if I keep pausing by the way, my mouth is so dry, but I'm trying to get this recording done as quick as possible because I do not have a lot of time to do it. Uh, Chelsea have a corner though, we get it away, but not very far. It was Benedetti uh, has a shot and is saved once again by a tuna. So. You know, in the end, it didn't really matter that much. But here come Chelsea again. Lozano through to Fernandez, through to Hudson Odoi. He's going to have a shot and he's going to score. I mean, I saw it coming. I wasn't expecting to keep a clean sheet away at Chelsea. But come on, it's so that looks so simple for them to just get through my entire defence. Fernandez has a free kick there, and uh, Chelsea playing some good uh, one-touch passing there. The shot from Benedetti is saved by Atuna, and Hudson Odoi hits the bar, and. Chucky Lozano heads it into the back of the net. 45th minute. It added time, 45th minute. Of course, of course Chelsea had to score. They go back ahead. And it, it's just, yeah. I was just so annoyed at that point. I'm trying to hold off yawns as well. Yeah, it was just so annoying at that point. But we do get one back. Diogo Fernandes straight after half time. Getting one past Kepper Or under Kepper rather. And into the back of the net. But just one minute later, uh, Fernandez finds some space and Chelsea retake the lead. It's 3-2. I mean, what a game this was in the end. 3-2. It just it just suddenly went absolutely mad. After we scored our first goal, the game just went mental. And it was such an open game that there's no way I was going to fit all the highlights into this one game. Uh, 71st minute, though. The Tunin, um Plays a ball out to, up to Bingham. Bingham heads it on for Ujevic. Bingham's making a decent run through there. He goes to Harris instead. Bingham gets it. He's through. He's surely got to score. No, he doesn't. Of course he doesn't. It's EA, in it? And um, that is a loss. We have one game left. And if Manchester City uh, have won, they've won the title. And at this point, I was so down. I was so annoyed. And I just did not want to look at the table. But this was slightly annoying. The fact that Manchester City had a game in hand. That just really, really annoyed me. Because this is this exact same thing happened last season. We didn't know whether we'd won the championship until two weeks after we'd played our last game. That doesn't happen this time. Uh, but what Manchester City are two points ahead of us with, with uh, a game in hand. Which is horrible because I was just waiting for them to win that game. However, they didn't win that game. Their game in hand was against Tottenham, uh, who were just mid-table this season, and they drew. So we're still in with a slim little chance of winning the league. We need Manchester City to lose. If they lose 1-0, for example, then we have to score. We have to win by two goals. Simple as that. We basically have to win by two goals or more to win the league. Um, and hope that Manchester City also lose away at Wolves. So we go into our final game at home to Bournemouth. Now this was a great opportunity and I was coming into this game thinking, right, I just need to score as many goals as possible. As uh, Dylan Dylan has a shot which is blocked by Bingham. Dylan Dylan rolls into Archie Bingham and that was the tamest effort I've ever seen in my life from Archie Bingham. As uh, Bournemouth come forward now in the 16th minute, Gamboa onto Boadu and his shot goes agonisingly wide. My heart was in my mouth then. As Boadu runs through again, what a tackle from Alexander! What a tackle! That was a game save. That, that could be a game-saving tackle. Uh, um, again, Bournemouth 
all over us in this game. Another shot from Henry Onyakuru, being saved by Hatunu. We head it away from the corner, the shot comes in, it hits Guillaume, deflects perfectly to Boadu, who puts it into the back of the net. And once again, we find ourselves losing. Like, as, you know, you want to screw me over anymore? You know, just, you know, a defender, a defender just has a punt from outside the box. It hits my defender and bounces perfectly to their striker, who was in line with my last defender. Any further forward, he would have been offside. It's just like, oh my god. But um, we do get a bit of salvation here. What a cross by Blondo and a header by Ratchich. And I'm just like, right, get the ball, get the ball. We need to score two more goals. We need to score two more goals if we're going to win this flipping league. What a cross from Blondo. I couldn't believe that cross. Absolutely sensational. And great call as well from Ratchich. Great uh, leap from Ratchich even to get that high. However, um, we just have a massive lapse in concentration here. Damata plays it through for David Brooks, and no one's going to catch him. David Brooks is through. He hits the post, and do you want to screw me over anymore? I could have cleared the ball away, and he slid, and Brooks put it in anyway. And that is the end. That's the end. That way we're not winning the Premier League. We've lost in our final game at home to Bournemouth and Manchester City are going to lift the Premier League. I'm so sorry to end it on that note, but we still have one more prize left to win, the Champions League. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, the Champions League adventure for the final season begins now.